Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Amid the ongoing military operations in Ukraine, Russia has embarked on a significant step by initiating large-scale production of the FAB-3000, a highly destructive aerial bomb widely recognized for its potency. This notable development was announced by Russian Defense Minister General of the Army Sergei Shoigu during his recent visit to an aviation bomb production facility in the Nizhny Novgorod region on March 21, 2024. The commencement of this production signifies a substantial expansion of Russia's military capabilities, particularly underscoring its strategic implications for the conflict in Ukraine. General Sergei Shoigu provided detailed insights into the ambitious expansion plans for the production of aerial munitions, with a special emphasis on the strategic significance of the FAB-3000. Additionally, plans were unveiled to double the production of the FAB-1500 and significantly increase the output of FAB-500 bombs. Notably, the introduction of the FAB-3000M-54, a newly developed super-heavy aerial bomb tailored for strategic use by the two 22M-3 heavy bombers, underscores its pivotal role in the ongoing conflict dynamics. The minister also highlighted remarkable advancements in the facility's productivity, reporting a five-fold increase in aviation and artillery weapons production compared to the previous year. This substantial leap in production efficiency is attributed to the revitalization and modernization of manufacturing capabilities, facilitated by the integration of cutting-edge technology. During his visit, General Shoigu also assessed the progress in artillery ammunition production for hyacinth guns, with the construction of a new workshop aimed at further enhancing production capabilities. The FAB-3000 stands as a testament to the engineering excellence in conventional munitions, boasting a weight of approximately 3,000 kilograms and carrying 1,400 kilograms of TNT. It possesses a maximum penetration capacity of 183 millimeters, an armor destruction radius of 42 m, and a fragment dispersion radius of 260 m. The destruction radius denotes the area where the bomb can cause significant direct damage to structures and personnel owing to its blast and shockwave, while the fragment dispersion radius indicates the broader area where bomb fragments scatter, posing lethal risks to personnel and causing secondary damage. Tailored for strategic bombardment, the FAB-3000 is capable of inflicting extensive damage on enemy fortifications, critical infrastructure, and troop concentrations. Its integration into the arsenal underscores the magnitude of destruction such munitions can unleash, particularly in densely populated or strategically vital areas. Against the backdrop of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the deployment of such heavy munitions raises concerns regarding their humanitarian and infrastructural impact, underscoring the severe ramifications of intensified aerial bombardment campaigns. This escalation in bomb production and the strategic focus on heavy munitions like the FAB-3000 epitomize Russia's readiness for prolonged and intensified military engagements, emphasizing the critical nexus between military capabilities and geopolitical strategies in the current conflict scenario. That's all for now. See you later.